Hello, my name is Margit Tolle. I'm from NPO Witches Cultivation. I got travel grant to Taiwan from Etak in Estonia and most in Taiwan. Tari he invited me to give a lecture about innovative methods to improve growth yield and quality of vegetables. Outline of my talk. The short overview of my scientific work. My five discoveries that improve growth yield and quality of vegetables. I will shortly introduce them later. Market all the scientific work. The introduction. Education. In 1998, I finished uh, Tartu Fifth Secondary School with silver medal. In 1993, I finished the Estonian University of Life Sciences Agronomist Speciality Bacalaurus of Science Cum Laude. In 1994, I finished uh, Royal Veterinary and Agriculture University of Denmark Study of Horticulture one year. Half of Master Studies. In 1995, I got a Master of Science degree on Horticulture Speciality from Estonian University of Life Sciences. In 1999, uh, I defended Doctor of Science degree in Norwegian University of Life Sciences in Norway. In 19 uh, 2000 till 2001, I was working on postdoc project at the Estonian University of Life Sciences. Most important projects: 1994 till 1995, cabbage agrotechnology and variety comparison. 2000 till 2001, postdoc projects ending with two major discoveries. 2012 till 2014, the development of sustainable vegetable production. 2014 till 2015, the Baltic Sea Soya Network research and promotion of vegetable protein production. Project leader Frederick Fogelberg from Rice AB in Sweden. No. 2014 till 2017, Project Eurolegume, it received funding from European Union 7th Framework Program. And Project Coordinator Rose from UTA, de Eduardo Rosa, and I was Estonian team leader. 2015 till 2016. The influence of vermicompost on the yield and quality of vegetables 2016. Pro farm LTD order at the effect of UBP to 110 on tomatoes yield and quality. 2018 till 2020 the influence of vermicompost on the yield and quality of vegetables. 2019, the influence of insect trust on the yield and quality of vegetables. Running project 2022 till 2023, improving cereal production technology and 2021 till 2025, cost project European Union, cost project VIRA. Organization of conferences. I have been main organizer for three NJF conferences in Estonia and helped to organize other conferences around the world. I have published 12 research monographs in English, three popular scientific books, two in English and one in Estonian. My five discoveries. Negative tip against tip burning greenhouse grown leafy crops. The problem greenhouse vegetable farmers around the globe cannot overcome physiological calcium deficiency in greenhouse vegetable crops. Tip burning is major limitation during the production of lettuce, the unpredictability of the occurrence of the tip burn and the absence of totally Effective control procedures, procedures makes the problem very serious. Losses from tip in lettuce could reach up to 50% of 
total production. The main role of calcium in plants. Calcium is important in the synthesis of cell walls. Calcium is found in the cell walls, therefore plants are stronger against pests and diseases. The need to use chemicals against pests and diseases is reduced or totally absent. Treatments negative if night temperature is higher than day temperature, 5 degrees normally. Positive if day temperature is higher than night temperature. Treatment negative if uh, has lower dependent leaves on chervil than positive dip. Negative dip uh, the conditions calcium content in young leaves is higher compared to positive dip conditions. Conclusions. Negative dip day temperature is lower than night temperature dip and decreases. Positive dip Day temperature is higher than night temperature, tip and increases. Take home message. The need to use chemicals to prevent this disorder is reduced or totally absent. This method is replicable around the globe and can be used in organic agriculture. Negative diff help to conserve the energy in North and Pole in winter time because the temperature is higher at night time, which period is shorter. Far red filter reduces tip and injury on lettuce. To show that far red filter could be used to control the height of lettuce and to assess the effect of far red filter on the growth and chemical composition of lettuce plants. Treatments half of the plants were grown under far red absorbing film, whereas the other half of the Plants were grown on an open greenhouse bench. Illumination was the same at plant level for both crops. Results. You can see that uh, the number of uh, dipend leaves uh, on lettuce is high in control compared to with far red filter variant. You can see that uh, in far red filter variant uh, treatment uh, calcium content in leaves is higher than in control. And here is a picture of the experiment. And here are the plants left. Lettuce plants grown on open greenhouse bench, right? Lettuce plants grown under far red filter. Conclusions. The present investigation showed that lettuce is a plant which responds to the change in red far red ratio. The incidence of tip and injury on leaves was reduced under far red absorbing film. The calcium content of lettuce young leaves was higher under far red filter. Effect of effective microorganism improves the growth of tomato transplants. On the left you can see EM logo, on the right how it is sold in the shop. EM technology was developed at the University of Rokuku in Okinawa, Japan in the early 1980s by Professor Dr. Teruo Higa. EM has been introduced and is used in more than 140 countries in the world. What is EM? is produced through a natural process of fermentation is a combination of beneficial and naturally occurring microorganisms. It is a liquid concentrate produced from cultivations of over 80 varieties of microorganisms. Most, most outstanding future it includes anaerobic and aerobic species of microorganisms coexisting in a most beneficially productive manner not chemically synthesized or genetically engineered, contains microorganisms from different groups. EM consists of safe and human-friendly microorganisms, which are lactic acid bacteria, photosynthetic bacteria, yeast, actinomycetes, fermenting fungi. Coexistence. Lactic acid bacteria and yeast are producing organic acids, which are used by photosynthetic bacteria 
Entos uh, uh, mm, producing nucleic acid and vitamin vitamins which are used by lactic acid bacteria and yeast. In soils normally are 5% of harmful microbes, 90% of opportunistic microbes and 5% of beneficial microbes. When we add EM, Opportunistic microbes are going to work as beneficial microbes, twisting the balance to suppress disease. EM, who is effectively used in soil and foliar applications for regular crop, vegetable, fruits, turf farming, hydroponics. EM increase yield and improves the quality of production. Organic waste can be converted into fertilizer and soil improvement. EM technology for animal husbandry, spraying, feeding, drinking. You can use EM everywhere. Beneficial influences of EM in crop production. EM promotes germination, flowering, fruiting and ripening in plants. EM improves the physical, chemical, biological environments of soil and suppress soil borne pathogens and pests. EM enhances the photosynthetic capacity of crops. EM ensures better germination and plant establishment. EM increases the efficiency of organic matter as a fertilizer. Different brands of EM are applied as follows. Inoculation of EM into the soil. Spraying of uh, EM on leaves, soaking seeds in EM, EM irrigation, insect control. Problem elongated and low quality tomato variety valve transplants. The purposes of this investigation was to assess the influence of effective microorganisms on the growth of tomato transplants. Assess the influence of effective microorganisms on the nutrient content of tomato transplants. Treatments soaking seeds of uh, one half an hour in EM solution, substrate solu treatment with EM, and starting from three through leaf stage spraying and uh, one week later, one week later, and one week later for sprayings, and in control we used water. Tomato transplant height and width height was lower in EM treatments and in control, with not statistically different. The number of leaves per tomato transplants, not statistically different, but stem diameter high in EM treatment around 25%. Then in control. The content of nutrients of tomato transplants, the content of nitrates, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium and magnesium was high in EM treatment. Photo of tomato transplants, EM Treatment left, control treatment right. Photos of plants at the end of the season, EM treated plant left, control plant right. Conclusions. EM treatment has followed advantages. Tomato, tomato transplants take compact. Tomato transplants have thicker stems. Tomato transplants contain more nutrients. Silicon improves the growth and quality of cucumber transplants. Silicon uh, is the second most abundant element after oxygen in soil. Silicon dioxide comprises 50 to 70 percentage of soil mass. All plant rooting in soil contain some silicon in their cells and tissues. Supplying crops with adequate plant available silicon can suppress plant disease. Reduce insect attack, improve environmental stress tolerance and increase crop productivity. Silicon plays important roles in mitigating the biotic and abiotic stresses. Purposes. 
The purpose of the investigation was to look at the effect of silicon on the cucumber transplant quality because only few investigations have been carried out on cucumber transplants treated with silicon. The aim was to see whether there is an effect of silicon so early in plant development. In first true leaf sprays, spraying with silic silicic acid two weeks later and two weeks later, three spraying all together and in control with water. The height was higher in silicic acid treatment compared to control treatment. Stem diameter was greater in silicic acid treatment compared to control treatment. The content of nitrates was higher in silicic acid treatment compared to control treatment. The content of nitrogen was higher in silicic acid treatment compared to control treatment. The content of phosphorus was higher in silicic acid treatment compared to control treatment. The content of potassium was not scientifically different. The content of calcium was not scientifically different. The content of magnesium was high in silicic acid treatment compared to the control treatment. Silicic acid treatment plant left, control plant right. Conclusions. Cucumber transplants were taller and stem diameter was greater in silicic acid treatment compared to control. The content of nitrates, ni nitrogen, Phosphorus, magnesium was high in silicic acid treated plant. Protein yield increases while increasing sowing rate for some varieties. The aims of this investigation were to see whether pea varieties differ in their yield, height, and content of protein, to find suitable varieties for production in Estonian agroclimatic conditions. Varieties Capella and Clara from Sweden, Bruna and Vitra from Latvia, Kirke from Estonia, Onvar from Greece. Two sowing rates 120 seeds per square meter for all varieties, and second, 144 seeds per square meter, increased by 20%. And you can see here that field P yield was higher in second uh, sowing, sowing rate in Capella, Clara and Kirke. You can see here that field P protein content was higher in Bruno uh, in second sowing rate variety and you can see here that pilpi protein yield was higher in Capella, Clara and Kirke varieties. Picture of experimental field and pictures of pilpi varieties Kirke, Clara and Capella. Sowing rate has increased field P protein, protein content for varieties Bruno, Onward and Vitra, while the best varieties regarding protein yield were Capella, Clara and Kirke. For varieties Kirke, Clara and Capella, there is a trend that sowing rate increases the protein yield. Thank you very much.